BMDC Alliance joins the nation in celebrating our heroes who fought to bring about Zimbabwe's liberation from colonial rule. We also commemorate our Defence Forces. It's been 40 years since the Zimbabwe Defence Forces came into being. This year's commemoration of service presents an opportunity to reflect on the history and direction of our nation as well as of our Defence Forces. Now, there would be no independent Zimbabwe were it not for Zipper and Zanla, whose liberation war feats helped force the uncooperative colonial Rhodesian government to the 1979 independence talks at Lancaster House. We owe a great debt to the two liberation armies. As we all know, the constitutionally defined roles of the Zimbabwe Defence Forces are to protect Zimbabwe's independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity. Their role is also to partake in the design of shared regional security and to play a role in the preservation of international stability and peace. They are also to offer military assistance to the civilian authority in times of need. On occasion, our Defence Forces have distinguished themselves in many of their constitutionally defined roles, including in regional peacekeeping missions, as well as in spearheading emergency reconstruction, as we saw in 2019 with Cyclone Idai. However, the Zimbabwe Defence Forces' 41 years of existence have not been unblemished. We note with particular sadness the arbitrary military killings on the 1st of August 2018 and in January 2019 for which there has been no accountability. We also note uh, the Defence Forces' continued militarisation of the civic space. We call on the Defence Forces to remember their constitutional mandate to the people. We ask that they act in a manner that's professional, respects the dignity of all Zimbabweans and serves our collective interests. Under an MDC Alliance government, weapons and arms of war will never be deployed to support a political party's partisan interests or impede the people's rights in terms of the constitution. So perhaps the most significant commemoration we can give to our Defence Forces on this day is to collectively call for the improvement of their conditions of service, particularly those of the rank and file soldiers. We also plead with each and every member of the Army and Defence Forces to remember that the people of Zimbabwe are not their enemies. Instead, we ask that they work to protect the people instead of fighting them. Happy Heroes Day. Happy Defence Forces Day, Zimbabwe.